Yo, what's up guys? My name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and welcome to the Infantry Showcase. In this episode, I'll be covering the Assault Rifles. And uh, if you've missed any episodes I've covered so far, in episode 1 I, I covered the, the pistols. Episode 2 will cover the SMGs and shotguns. So if you want links to those videos, they'll be in the description. Also, there'll be a link to the full playlist at the end of the video. So for the first one, it's going to be the RS-15, which is locked at Mastery Level 2 in Colorado. And it's a modern edition of the widely distributed assault rifle, fully automatic, equipped with an effective suppressor. So this is what it looks like in-game. And uh, what I can tell you straight off the bat is this is probably the best assault rifle there is in the series. Um, purely because um, it has the best recoil properties out of the most of the other assault rifles. I think that's uh, a big winner, really. It's, it looks extreme, but uh, compared to the others, it's one of the best. It's a two to three shot kill to the chest, uh, depending on your, you know, that's only at close range though. At long range, it can drop off quite dramatically. Um, it has 30 rounds in the magazine, 60 in reserve, so it's 90 rounds overall. But I don't think it's a lot for assault rifle really, but that's still like three mags. But considering if you're going to do a lot of a long range fights and you're going to be fighting a lot of guards with this, I'm assuming that's what you're going to do with this. Because I don't see any other purpose to the assault rifles. Um, I feel like they just put them in there just to have them because I don't see another reason to have assault rifles in the game I just I, I, you know you, you give it to the NPCs the guards fine I understand that but this is not really something I would recommend in any situation to bring along an assault rifle I don't think I've ever used it in a video other than for a, a challenge or something like that next is the attack AR Desert, which is not to after completing three escalations in the Legacy maps, which is the Hitman 1 maps. Modern ball pop assault rifle, fully automatic, accurate and stable with an effective range. Uh, this is what it looks like in game. And it's pretty standard for an assault rifle. It's 30 rounds in a mag, 16 reserve, 2-3 to three shot kill to the chest. Um, it's got a higher fire rate than the ISRS, I think. But the recoil is obviously more significant. It pulls right up and to the right as well. I don't think it's a very effective assault rifle to use, if you were going to use one. Um, I'll just take the IRS to be honest, because this is not very good. And this is literally a reskin of the other AR anyway, this is nothing different about it. Apart from the fact that it's got a desert camouflage on it. Do I think it's worth completing three escalations for it? No, even though that's like no big deal. Um, but again, it's ineffective at long range. It's got a lot of recoil. Um, it's not very accurate. Yeah. Moving on. Next is the TAC 4SA, which is not the mastery level 5 in Colorado. A modern ballpup battle rifle, semi automatic, accurate with good range and excellent damage. And it has the suppressor perk. This is what it looks like in game. It has a little reticle, and this in Hitman Season 1 used to be the best one to use. However, since then, it has changed. It doesn't have the precision perk that the, the Silver Baller has anymore. That's gone. It used to do a one-shot kill to the chest at close to medium range. That's gone. Um, the recoil is now completely heavy. as It's a semi-automatic. You only get 30 rounds in the magazine and 30 in reserve, so it's 60 overall. The recoil is extreme. It's a two-shot kill to the chest now. And at long ranges, it can even increase to a lot more than that. It's basically a worse pistol in every single way. It literally is a worse pistol in every way. I don't see the point to this at all. And it also has an issue where sometimes you'll aim at long range and shoot it for a head and the bullet will completely miss when it's supposed to be head scan. It doesn't make any sense to me, but that, that's just how this assault rifle is. The recoil is so extreme, just like I've just shown you here, look. It's just not hitting him. And even when it does, it's not even taking him out with a headshot from that range. It's ridiculous. This is an assault rifle. But yeah, I just don't... I just Why did they do that? It, in Season 1, it used to be so good. It used to be, like a, a, like I said, a one-shot kill to the chest. This game is crying out for a gun like that. It, like a, a diff, like the separation between a sniper rifle and an assault rifle. This was it. This was it. And they removed those perks and removed this damage capabilities and its accuracy. I don't get it. But this clearly has some, uh, some issues. I don't think the recoil is ridiculous for a semi-automatic. 47 is a trained killer and 
an expert at all these weapons and you can't rec control a recoil on one bullet from that. I don't understand. Next is the Shaska A33H, which is not to mastery level 10 in Santa Fortuna. A modern assault rifle, fully automatic with high damage but only semi accurate. So just keep in mind as well, this doesn't have a suppressor, so it's a loud assault rifle, but it's the same properties really as most of the other assault rifles. 30 rounds in the magazine, 16 reserve. Uh, two to three shot kill at close range. The recoil is about the same as the RS, so it's not as bad as the, some of the uh, the fully automatics, but it is unsuppressed, so it does let it down. The only way, I, the only tip I can give you with these assault rifles, if you really are trying to get the, the most efficient ways of killing, is just aim low, and the recoil will spray it up into their face, and it will, you will get a headshot probably anyway. Or just completely aim for the head, but if, then again, if you're going to do that, you may as well just use a pistol, I don't know. It just comes back to the point where I don't think assault rifles have a, a place in the game. Unless the AMPCs, not the NPCs, but the guards themselves are, uh, you know, wielding them themselves. I just think a lot of these assault rifles could be a lot better. Next to the TAC-4 TAC AR Auto, which is not to master level 5 in Sapienza. It's a modern ballpup assault rifle, fully automatic, accurate with high fire rate and excellent damage. This is what it looks like in game. This used to be purple, if I remember correctly. Or was it purple with like a world blue? They changed them all to black eventually because everyone was complaining about it. <laughs> it's funny. But yeah, this is the same uh, assault rifles pretty much as all the others. Recoil is quite extreme. The fire rate looks to me exactly the same. I don't know if you can tell a difference or not. But to me, it seems pretty average. It seems exactly the same as the other ones to me. But uh, maybe you have a better eye than I do. I couldn't tell any difference really. The reload times are the same, the animation is the same, headshots are quite difficult, the recoil is that high, it's very difficult to actually get a nice decent kill uh, within 10 rounds. Long range, it's awful, it's the same as the other assault rifles though, in that respect. So, yeah, I think, <laughs> I think honestly, after all this, after all these testing of these assault rifles, I think they could all do with a buff. Just increase the accuracy, improve the recoil. Yeah. Next is the TAC 4 AR Stealth, Mark to Mastery Level 20 in Marrakesh. A modern bullpup assault rifle, fully automatic, has a powerful suppressor attached, whatever that means, and this is what it looks like in game. So in real life, if you add a suppressor to an assault rifle, I'm guessing it would add the bullet velocity and it would technically do more damage, but in game it doesn't work like that. It's exactly the same as the other assault rifle as we've just seen, the only difference is there's now a suppressor on it. Recoil is still extreme. The fire rate is still exactly the same. It's 30 rounds in the mag and 16 reserve, the same as the others. And it's just as hard to hit uh, your targets at longer range as the others as well. There's nothing special about it, really. It's just uh, very standard. And last up, we have the TAC 4 SA Jungle, which will have to, lock, have to complete 12 escalations in the Legacy missions, the Hitman 1 missions, that is. And it's a modern bullpup assault rifle with camouflage details, semi-automatic, accurate with good range and excellent damage. It has a powerful suppressor apparently. But this is what it looks like. Um, I don't really know what to say about this. It looks, it's, it, it is exactly the same as the uh, the other one I mentioned, the one with the reticle. And it, it, that didn't used to be the case. This used to be inferior in a lot of ways. But like I said, now it's literally a reskin. The only difference is this is, has green camouflage and that other one doesn't. And that's it. And it still has the same problems the other semi-automatic does. Where it, you're aiming for the head and sometimes the bullet will just miss because the recoil is so heavy. And if it's not the recoil that's causing that problem, I don't know what it is. But yeah, this used to be the variant where you didn't get that precision perk. So there was a difference between the assault rifles. But now, now there's no that, that perk it doesn't exist. It's no longer there. Because the other one, like I said, it used to be one shot kill to the chest and used to have the precision perk. Whereas this one doesn't have the precision perk and it was two shots. There was there was a difference between them, but now they're exactly the same. But like I said, it has the same problems as the other one, so there's no real difference there. Overall, which is the best assault rifle? I would say probably the RS-15. Um, but I don't recommend using the assault rifles at all in any case, in any situation. I can't recommend it. It's just I don't see a place for it in the game. Unfortunately, um, I don't even know how you could improve that to increase the likelihood of use, using these assault rifles because a pistol will do the same thing and a better job. So that's my evaluation. 
So that's going to do it for this one. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you are new to the channel so you don't miss any other more episodes on this. The next one's going to be the sniper rifle category. So we'll be covering those. So it should be a lot more exciting and different things going on in that one. So make sure you are hitting the bell notification to be notified of that video as soon as it goes live. Uh, subscribe if you are new to the channel as well. And consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description. Let me know your thoughts in the comments what you think about these assault rifles and uh, I'd love to know what you guys think. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.